Yay. Yay. So nice. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> nice. We're going to USA. Well, thank you. Thank, thank you. you. Cheers. Cheers. Hello, guys. Hello, everybody. Today we arrived in this place. It's this called Jovan Old Street. An amazing place. It's a very nice place mm -hmm. because of the lanterns and the view. The very view is beautiful very place beautiful. and there's awesome food here. I can smell nice sweet food. stuff, cake, some barbecue around. We haven't tried anything yet, but we're going to try. I'm sure we're going to try some food. Yes, right? we are now going to explore this street. Mm -hmm. So let's go. The place has a lot of shops. For example, this shop sells a lot of souvenirs. And along the way, you can find some shops where they sell snacks. I smelled something funny. What was that? Stinky tofu. <laughs> <laughs> you want to try stinky tofu? It's so crowded here. I would like to try. We are here in this place. We are waiting for stinky tofu. <laughs> yeah. Finally, we're going to try stinky tofu. Yeah, it's our first time to try stinky tofu. Yeah. We've been planning to try it, but it seems like we are going to do it in Japan. We've been yeah. here for a while, but we never had a chance to do it. So yeah. Let's Can't wait see. to try. Let's see how it tastes. Yeah. But the smell is really. Yeah, the smell. If the camera could pick the smell, everybody would tell that really yeah. this is. Stinky. Stinky. Very. <laughs> <laughs> this is the most favorite snack or food of Taiwanese people. Actually, when you get the stinky tofu, it doesn't smell as bad as it is when you walk in the streets. So I'm gonna try it. I just tried. I made a bite. You can't believe, but the taste is really not good. Like, I didn't believe when people say that stinky tofu is yummy. But after trying it, I feel like it's really nice. Inside, it has some chewy, soft taste, and I like the sauce on the top of it. And the flavor is very nice, actually, it doesn't stink when you eat it. The taste is good, but the smell might not be really for everyone. We are trying to find one spot. Mm. It looks beautiful in the pictures, but it's so hard to discover it. Have to walk along the streets and we already spent almost two hours trying to get out from the crowds and it's really tough to walk here. Yeah, because there are so many people and it's a holiday. Yeah, so, so many. We are still trying to find some good spots to take pictures and just see the view of this place. It looks very nice. Yeah. There are many nice cafes where you can just relax and look at the view of the mountains. Let's go! and have a look if we can find beautiful spots. We found a place which looks very beautiful and it looks like it's one of the best spots here to take pictures. Though there are a lot of people trying to take pictures here, we also trying to manage and the space between this place. I thought it's wider and it's bigger, but in real life it looks really small. But the view is very nice. The place is so packed, it's so hard to even breathe here and I have to walk very slowly. Yeah, because it's crowded and yes. it's a holiday so many people are traveling, especially around here, right? Yes, the place looks very interesting. I like it, it has a different vibe from the other places that we visited before. What are these? These are raw taro balls mm -hmm. and they also have raw sweet potato balls. Are you coming over? That's cool. How could you use it? So you mean the shishima? Why would you come to Jofen without trying the famous taro balls with beans? 
Exactly. These, the ones in Jofen are special because I think they came from here. Yeah. These are some of the famous foods that you can find in this place. And the one we got is cold. I think most of the people are getting the cold one because it's a little bit warm today. Yeah, let's try it. It's sweet and chewy. We can try the beans. Oh, I love this. It's nice. It's really tasty. So I got this, I don't know what, what this is, but it's like taro and beans. I just saw many people lining up and I was like, maybe it's famous. Mm. It's sticky. It's like the ones we, we just finished eating, the taro balls. Just the a different is, version of it. Yeah. And this one is warm. Basically just taro and beans, that's all. We found this shop and decided to taste some mochi. They were super sweet, soft and delicious. They melt in the mouth and it's definitely a nice dessert. For some reason the sound didn't work here, but I met some cool guys in this shop and this guy said Taiwan number one and I absolutely agree with him. This was really an amazing place. It was awesome to be here. So crowded and very, very hard to walk here. Yeah, as you can see, I think most of the clips we did today, there are so many people around trying out food. We've tried as many foods as we could, like any other place that we visit. We've had a good experience. It's worth coming to this place. Yes, it was quite challenging to get into the, some places to get the food, mm -hmm. but we hope you guys enjoyed. Yeah. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you in our next vlogs. Bye. Goodbye.